It's Skylander Saturday! Hey, what's going on, Portal Masters? On this episode of Skylanders 101, I want to break things down with Grim Creeper, a new Skylander swap force, undead element. Let's check out some of his gameplay right now. Your time is up. All right, guys, let's check out some of Grim Creeper here. New undead element for Skylander Swap Force. And uh, here's his first attack, Scythe Swing. Press X to swing a ghostly scythe at nearby enemies. Ghost Form, press B to separate from the armor. Uh, Poltergeist Scythe, press Y to knock enemies into the air with a spinning spectral scythe. That's tricky to say. Spirit Scythe. Press X to swing a more powerful scythe that does increased damage. Spook and destroy. Press B to go into ghost form. And then while you're in the ghost form there, uh, you press B again, attack the enemies with the with the living armor and stuff. Um, armored, armored Amor. Living armor does increase damage. And then I went with the sphere or fear. Sphere of fear. Hold Y now for a short time to spin the scythe around in a... In a in the direction there, a large area to take out some of the enemies. Grave danger, critical hit is increased. Ghastly damage, all attacks do increased damage. You may opt to go with the It's Alive. Press B to go into the ghost form and leave behind living armor. So while you're at ghost form, your living armor will actually kind of attack enemies. Sort of like uh, Eyebrawl, I guess, when Eyebrawl's eye pops off and then he can kind of move around and attack people. Haunted help and soul sampler and then his soul gem is help from beyond a ghostly ally appears from defeated enemies that will seek out and attack other nearby enemies so you kind of see a little ghost pop up from time to time doing some attacking all right so let's show off grim creeper here i'm using light core grim creeper for my skylanders 101 so that's why it's kind of glowing a bit Ooh, a nice harvest. but uh his uh you know his abilities and weapons are going to be the same. So this is what he looks like jumping. I like the way he kind of kicks his feet around a little bit while he's jumping there. Okay, so his first attack is the scythe. And this is the one he's going to use a lot. It's pretty strong, pretty powerful. It takes a larger area. If you tap the A after a few times, it'll kind of combo into a little move there. So the second attack is you can kind of like toss the scythe out there, scythe out, and if you hold it down, he'll hold it out in front like that, and you can spin around. It's not, it's limited, so you can only do it for a few seconds. And then the uh, third thing you can do is this ghostly form. You can go around exploring, checking things out. The problem is, while you're in the ghost form, bad guys will attack your, your normal essence there, and you can see that's limited as well. That'll go for a few seconds. Now, the, the idea is, like, to kind of go in and the bell tolls for you. and attack and you know kind of sneak around you can like tag people with uh, depending on how you level them up and so that you can kind of like untag tag like five dudes I think and then when you go out of ghost form or you tap B again he'll go in and attack whoever's been tagged oh sorry I'm saying a lot here I'm trying to describe things and concentrate he's got you know so many crazy He's got so many crazy abilities there. Um, Those airships ain't stopping themselves. All right, stop talking to my Skylanders 101, man. All right, let me show you some damage here. Get some bad guys. Get some bad guys going. So here's the scythe. He's pretty fast too. Like the way he walks, it looks a little clumsy. But he actually seems to take like two steps instead of one, which I think is cool. It's it's a little deceptive, but I like. I like Skylanders that can walk. Magic element are stronger in this zone. I like Skylanders that can walk fast, walk and talk fast. Okay, let me let me ghostly form up here. It's so you can see when he turns into a ghost, and then when he's when he comes out of the ghostly form, he'll attack. Eternal success. Pretty, it's pretty good. I. Brave new world. You know, I sort of, I thought I'd kind of be a little more into Grim Cre Creeper. I think he looks cool, but I still, I still feel like I'm figuring out his abilities. I mean, just coming up and smacking around bad guys with the scythe is pretty cool, and having little ghostly, ghostly forms and stuff 
around is pretty neat. So what you guys got to do is you got to let me know in the comments below, you know, which path you went with. Leveling up old is a, is a good is a good use for my spinning scythe. If, look at the guys. Seems like they're actually trying to back off, not walk into my scythe. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, what you guys got to let me know in the comments, you know, which path you go with, how you feel about Grim Creeper. Always anxious to get some um, discussion about the new Skylanders figures in general so we can kind of you know chat about it so pretty cool <laughs> all right guys that wraps it up for grim creeper let me know in the comments below which path you went with when you were leveling up your grim creeper for coin op tv that's it for this episode we hope you guys like favorite subscribe whatever to this video we'll see you guys next time <laughs> <laughs>